Welcome to the Rocking Carabiner Showdown. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinx, and welcome to the Slack Snap Lab, where we are going to break eight locking carabiners in a showdown. But instead of doing them all in a row, we're going to do them in brackets. And since it's March, we're going to do it like the March Madness that baseball does. All the carabiners we're doing today are pear-shaped or HMS. If you pull it on the gate side, it's going to break approximately half of the strength because the strength comes from this side. Trango, this is a twist lock. Does not require anything more than a twist and then an open. Feels like a normal pear-shaped carabiner. Any thoughts on that one? So this is a black diamond. Uh, this is also this twist and open two-stage. They both got the Kino's notch. These are... Uh, just good workhorse carabiners. I've used both of them. Mine's rated for 25 KN. What's yours? Oh yeah, well mine's rated for 24. All right, so these are the lightweights out of all the ones we're testing today. Let's go do it. Why are you wearing that? You're not even supposed to be within <laughs> sight. Things go flying, at least my face won't get hit. <laughs> Money maker. <laughs> Trango, uh, which was one of the finalists last time, uh, eliminated on the first round. So Trango was rated for 25, and we got 28.11. So I'd like to point out that this was rated for 24, and it went to 28, but it's like, it's super locked. Super locked, so it's safer. Yeah, it's safer. Black Diamond is runner-up. Next in our football March Madness, we have Camp and Beal. So it's Bial, where you actually get to pronunciate extra letters which i like to do 26 kilonewtons it is a triple auto locker you got to move it up and then over and it looks like it has the same similar kinos what do you got here i got a camp it's rated for 26 and it's just a just a normal auto locking oh, the commonality between most of these carabiners we're testing today is they're all the large ones out of all the ones that we ended up getting for a series of tests these are all the largest HMS carabiners we got. This did not fail, but it is no longer the same shape. Is that an here. oval carabiner now? <laughs> I mean, it survived, but... It's no longer functional. Well, that's the theme today, isn't it? Oh, what'd they break at? 26. All right, there you go. You can see it pushing the gate out and mm. then the nose is gone. Oh, the nose is gone. Yeah. Check out our other 12 carabiner showdown video. That was pretty cool. You don't just fall out of planes, right? Not typically. Okay, you go up stuff? I do. Cool, so you've seen a carabiner before. I have. Cool, all right, so let's uh, see your thoughts on this. This DMM BAC, big ass carabiner, mm -hmm. has a triple auto locking. So these are the heavyweight contenders in our March Madness water polo competition here because they are both rated for 30 kilonewtons. That looks big. What do you got there? Austria Alpine, Austria Alpine. So uh, Austria a, Alpine. A really popular brand here in California. Definitely. Yeah, Fine. making Bobby laugh. <laughs> this is what a double auto locker then. Yeah, I guess I just right. called auto lockers at that point. So these two HMS carabiners are our largest ones and they weigh around 95 grams each. 26 to 31 grams is what all the wire gates that we tested in the wire gate showdown video. And so that is three times heavier than a normal carabiner. You don't want to carry a full rack of these just for no. kicks and giggles. <gasps> Austria Alpine. Oh, Still functional. Oh, that is going to smash the competition and uh, the showdown. The gate. Uh, it's oh, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. the only one that does. This is rated to 30 kilonewtons. <laughs> Careful what yeah. you say, I'm never going to get sponsored by them. And we got very close. <laughs> That's a very nice way of saying that. Petzl William Carabiner. It is rated for 27 kilonewtons. It is a triple auto locker with a key nose. They all got the same nose. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should stop talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Anything special about your carabiner, Bobby? So this is a Okun Harpy um, made in Chechia. And it is the largest HMS I have ever seen. 
That is a lot. And this is the only screw gate that we're breaking today. And it has this cool unlocked, and then when you screw it up there, locked. In case you can't tell the difference. Yeah. It also doesn't open when it's locked. <laughs> it's not functional. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like gunpowder. Well, I mean, the gate works. What is this rated for? 27. Whew. All right, 27. Just squeaking by there, that's all. <laughs> oh, not to get sponsored, Bobby. That's the only way I'd ever afford their products if they sponsored me. <laughs> <laughs> which they're clearly not going to now. The Okun, which I can't take off to, to like model. I'm pretty surprised that it got that high i mean 28 is what it's rated for but it has such a large opening here uh that i'm surprised it, it has a hard time putting the force on the spine yeah if if like right there whereas d-shape lockers or carabiners really line it up with this side then so get to the semi-finals i'd like to just point out how well the black diamond's doing that's the one that i'm rooting for why why is that because uh, it's the one that i own mm, okay now entering into our semi-finals for our hockey march madness we have here our black diamond and our camp carabiners which we might have to put a quick link between them because they they don't work anymore but we're going to find out which one breaks first why are they called quick links they're the <laughs> slowest things i use everything they're quicker than welding a new link into the chain have they never heard of carabiners what do you think this is going to break at? 15. 11. 9. That's a 25. 20. I'm going to go 14. I'm going to go 30. I'm rooting big. I was so close. Oh, look. Look who won again. I have a reputation for picking winners. Oh, well, this gate is trashed. At least it's still locked. It's safe to use. <laughs> So that one died. What's this called in the? Is that a semi-finalist? The finalist. Oh, it's a finalist. Yeah, because you got the yeah, you it's a finalist. finals. And then... So I like can golf. What's in our semi-finalist here? So we've got the Okun Harpy, uh, which is no longer the biggest HMS I've seen, <laughs> and then the Austria Alpine Pyrum, which still functions. Oh, that's oh, right. No. It doesn't lock as well. Does it still function after 30? I mean, not well, but is it, what shape is it? Your, uh, more rectangular. It's a rectangle carabiner. It, it went that way. Oh, here it is. Hey, look, a broken carabiner. Austria Alpine is 29.9 and Black Diamond has been pulled to 28.58. Now they're gonna go head to head. That isn't even like straight anymore. And Austria Alpine still works. And we're going to do the, what's that, the mop game? Curling? Curling. Yeah. And now for the Super Bowl of curling. Who's going to win and what's it going to break at? 31. 31, which 31. one's going to win? Uh, Black Diamond's probably going to win. Okay. I think. I want Black Diamond to win. I don't know. That Austria Alpine's like At what force? Hardcore. Uh, 29. I'm going to go for the Outsider, Austria Alpine. I'll say Austria Alpine's going to win. Black Diamond will break you at 30.5. I'll go with Alpine at... 27. Okay. <laughs> Black Diamond at 30. Austria Alpine at 35. Oh, what? Wow. Alpine won. Yeah. I thought the Black Diamond would win. No, I thought it was because the Austria Alpine's rated for a lot higher than oh. the Black Diamond. That's why I was like, I love my Black Diamond, but I think the Austria oh, Alpine's smart. got it on this one. Uh, Ryan, it's obviously because you um, rigged it by putting the black diamond on the pole side. Oh. <laughs> ah! <a> yeah. <laughs> that is not how that works. Oh my god, you put that in people's heads. You know, this is ready for 24. I think, I I think percentage of strength over MBS, I think this oh, one won. Black diamond crushed it. <laughs> it's a double action yeah. to lock it. Yeah. 
Are we gonna break this, or is this gonna be the contender of the next video? I feel like I want to. I want to see. I want to know. I want to know. 31, but is that what makes you click and subscribe and yeah, go to the next yeah. video? So maybe know. that's why you should just wait yeah. for the next one. Yeah. yeah. Because like I want to know. It's killing me. I don't get to know. We want the March Madness to go up against the World Series winner of the next video of the, of the Super Bowl. Yes, we want to have this one go against the winner of the next round of the World Series champion. <laughs> no, no, you, you almost got it. You almost got it. Huh? <laughs> it's up to you, man. There's going to be 100,000 people that see this. That's what you want is 100,000 people to be seeing this. <laughs> yeah, but do you? Do you yeah, do you want that? Should we break this last one? I say we hold on to it, let it go up against the winner of the World Series Super Bowl champion of the next round. <laughs> yeah, do it again. Do it again. We got this. This guy gets better every time. Should we break this? This one here, you want to break this? The winner of the March Madness Super Bowl series? I want to break this, but what should we do? Uh, I say we wait on hope breaking this until we have the next series of the Summer Super Bowl series finalist, and then they go head to head, and whoever wins, we do the final strength full test break. Okay. And you look cross-eyed the whole time. <laughs> oh, you were on doing that on purpose? <laughs> we eventually will break it, but I want to see it go up against the winner of the Summer Match Martinus. <laughs> Summer. <laughs> 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 you just cut it there.